Hey, 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 Aquarius. This is your secret scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, November 19th to the 20th intuitive love tarot read. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. I will be using a new deck today, the tarot black and gold version. Very cool deck. Very cool deck, all blingy and such. Okay, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for my Aquarians. What is your energy like? What's Aquarius energy like when it comes to love? What you thinking about, Aquarius? What's on your mind? Two of Cups. This is on your mind. Soulmate, Twin Flame energy. What else is on Aquarius' mind? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Okay. Mm. We have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Star Card. Did this come up recently for you? There's this wish that you have, Aquarius. And it's regarding this soulmate and twin flame connection. There is somebody on your mind that you feel you can have the Ten of Cups with. But you need to let this go first. And you know this. This Ten of Swords energy. That needs to be let go before this is called in. Interesting. Now the star card is the card of Aquarius. That is your card, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You also have Cups energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, in Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this feeling of betrayal, this feeling of feeling stabbed in the back, that needs to be let go of. But you're really feeling this love, this soulmate twin flame energy, this emotional fulfillment you're really embodying this energy and really trying to maintain balance let's see what's walking into your life who is walking into aquarius's life what can you tell me about who's walking into aquarius's life okay anything else can i have one more card please okay Ooh. We have the Two of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Swords. A broken-hearted individual, they said, is coming towards you. It's like they're so broken-hearted right now, they can't even see a future. They can't, they can't see past here. It's, it's like they're numb to it. They're numb to it. And that's what I'm feeling with this combined with the Two of Wands energy. They're just numb. They don't even know where they're going. Like, they don't realize they're walking towards you. And I'm feeling that you're going to notice them before... Well, you're going to... Let me rephrase that. You're going to notice the connection before they do, because I feel like when you meet, you know what they showed me? They showed me two people bumping into each other, literally. So this may be how you meet, like on the street, bumping into each other. I feel it's like while shopping someplace outside, and it is the winter time, it's cold outside. It could be during this holiday season. So let's see how... How does Aquarius respond to this meeting? Hmm. You see it as an opportunity, the Ace of Pentacles here. You see this as a gift. You see this as a, as a chance for a new beginning. Eight of Cups. But you know there are things that you need to walk away from. Like this Ten of Swords. You know there are things you need to walk away from. There are feelings, there are some, even some people I'm feeling that you need to walk away from before you can have this. Before you can have this. Because it's like these kind of swords, I almost feel like some of them are people. 
one more card as to how Aquarius is responding. One more card. How is Aquarius going to respond to this person? How is Aquarius going to respond to this person? And you'll feel this person's hurt. They just said. You'll feel their broken heart. You will. Yeah, five of wands. And I'm feeling this connected to this eight of cups. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be a struggle for you to walk away from the people uh, that you need to walk away from. There may be five, actually. I told you I was feeling this in the Ten of Swords. For some of you, I'm feeling a couple of different scenarios. Like the scenario that they showed me in my head where um, two of you bump into each other, literally, right? That's somebody that you don't know. Another scenario is somebody that you do know because this is somebody that you had on your mind. So for some of you, it is somebody that you do know. For all of you, it is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, okay? That's for everybody. So how does this change your energy? How does this change your energy? Whoops. Yep, the High Priestess. Twin Flame card of mine. You're using your intuition. I think your intuition is going to come to the forefront now. Okay. And you're going to trust it. I don't feel that you trusted it in the past. This person, Nine of Pentacles. That's how their energy changes. They become more confident. They become more independent. They become more autonomous. They become whole on their own. And that's what you want, especially with somebody that has a broken heart. Okay, you want them to heal. You want them to be whole on their own before they come together with you. But I do feel like you help them get there, Aquarius. You do help them get there. So let's see how you respond to this Nine of Pentacle energy of theirs. How does Aquarius respond to this Nine of Pentacle energy? Nine of Swords and the Three of Cups. Ha. Huh. Okay, you may be a little anxious that they are a little bit too independent, maybe going out partying a little now that they're single. So this may give you anxiety and fear and spirit saying you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. There is no third party. There is no third party here, so you don't have to worry. They literally are just celebrating the freedom that they feel by releasing this um, Three of Swords energy because now they can they can see the future. They can feel the future, okay? They're not giving up. They feel a sense of freedom. And this is the celebration. Okay, so what's ahead in the future for Aquarius and this individual? Let's see. Hmm. We have the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Lover's card. I love these two together. This is Soulmate Twin Flame Energy, Gemini card. Okay, this also talks about balance in the Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving knight in the deck. But I'm, I'm happy to see that this is moving slow because this is what this person needs. Okay, and I'm feeling in both cases, whether you knew this person in the past, it's an existing person, or whether it's a new person. I feel in all scenarios, this needs to move slow. This needs to be very grounded. Um, each person needs to be very autonomous, okay? I'm feeling that strongly, but I'm really feeling um, a very balanced outcome, a very good outcome, a very good beginning anyway, right? So Aquarius, I hope you resonated with this reading. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. You have yourself a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.